Earlier today, Suits actress Meghan Markle married some unemployed dude who still lives with his grandma. <laughs> A report has found that 86% of people arrested in New York for marijuana possession are black or Latino. Well, duh, we're the only ones they search. That's like saying the only people that have STDs are the people that take tests for STDs. <laughs> we're not the only ones that carry drugs. If cops search white dudes in cargo shorts as much as they search black dudes in hoodies, prison would look like a Dave Matthews concert. <laughs> Talking about needing diversity in Hollywood, you know what we really need diversity? Jail. <laughs> Forget about Oscars so white. How about prisons is too black? <laughs> Colin. <laughs> A new report has selected the fittest city in the country to be Arlington, Virginia, while the least fit city in the country was once again Man Boobs, Louisiana. <laughs> American Airlines has revised the guidelines to ban passengers from bringing goats and hedgehogs on board as emotional support animals. <laughs> Meanwhile, over at Spirit Airlines, it's still a full-on Noah's Ark. <laughs> a nonprofit group has announced plans to create a library on the moon. Cool, said kids in Chicago. <laughs> Don't all visit. <laughs> Police in Philadelphia say that a six-year-old girl in a kindergarten class discovered a bag of cocaine in another student's backpack. The student was bringing the cocaine in for a show and tell, tell, tell! <laughs> That's a nice one. That was nice. That's a sweet one. That was a sweet Kids one. Kids on cocaine. That's yeah, sweet. Yeah, it's really sweet. Well, this is the last episode of our season, and there were a lot of jokes we tried this year, and some of them were uh, deemed too offensive to do on air. So we decided that since it's the end of the year, we're going to do some anyway. How about that? <laughs> The Boy Scouts of America agreed this week to allow girls into their organization, because somebody's got to sew those badges on. Now, again, <laughs> these jokes are offensive, and that's why we won't tell them on air. We won't, these are ones we won't be telling. A restaurant in Texas has created a controversy by putting pictures of Bruce Jenner on the men's room door and Caitlyn Jenner on the women's room door. Mm. Even worse, they called the handicap door Rob. Yeah. No, you can't do that, Joe. You can't do that. You can't do that on TV. Uh, <laughs> Pennsylvania police arrested a one-armed woman who was trying to rob a bank. Police say the hardest part was figuring out how to handcuff her. Now, that's, that's just... No, you can't say that. Can't that's, say that. No. Pornhub has released, this is exciting, has released their parody of the musical Hamilton. And in the porn version, Hamilton absolutely throws away his shot. Mm. The New York Daily News published an editorial calling for New York to legalize marijuana, saying that the current laws primarily hurt people of color. But since it is the Daily News, the headline read, Pot Cigs Catch Nigs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> went better than when I did it. Uh, jo <laughs> Jocelyn Wildenstein, the plastic surgery-obsessed woman known as Catwoman, has filed for bankruptcy. But don't worry about Jocelyn. From the looks of her, this is one cat who always lands on her face. Oh, oh.